everyone. This is a synopsis of a presentation that will be made to the Australasian Society of Phlebology later this month. I'm providing this brief overview uh, in order for you to get an idea of what's in this uh, long video. And you can uh, look at pieces of it later uh, or uh, uh, at your leisure. The title of this talk is the Thrombosis Risk Assessment Using the Caprini Risk Score, uh, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. And this is a really important uh, video because it uh, gives you an overview of the Caprini score, but it also shows you the set point for various populations. Now, since Chest originally adopted this uh, or suggested this video of uh, this risk score in 2012, they haven't really updated it and the set point used to be five. Now we know that the set point varies according to the population tested. We're also going to discuss the unique features, the only risk assessment in the world that I know of that actually tracks family history of thrombosis and obstetrical complications. And these are very important things that can mean the difference between life and death. It is difficult to collect all 40 items. So we have uh, identified a patient-friendly form validated in multiple languages around the world due to some really brilliant investigators. And I'd like to stop and acknowledge all of those investigators for all of their work with this Caprini score. The implementation of the score is another problem. And we have a poster child in Boston University, which illustrates how to implement this this strategy and lower the risk of venous thrombosis dramatically over 80% uh, if the uh, implementation strategy is followed. We also have several excellent examples of a data collection, 2,795,000 patients from Vietnam over a two year period scored, as well as identification of very high risk group and some very complex surgery from, uh, the, from the Soviet Union. Now, Turning to COVID-19, COVID-19 is a very complex and uh, nasty illness, as you know, and it's a compilation of various systems of the body involving platelets, coagulation, fibrinolysis, the inflammatory pathways of complement and calocrine, and the kinin pathways. Uh, and this, these kinin pathways uh, are very important uh, for uh, producing things like bradycardia, increased vascular permeability, hypotension, shock, histamine release, and so forth. And so all of these things together uh, constitute this disease. And uh, thrombosis is a prominent feature, but anticoagulation alone isn't the answer. And you'll find out more about that. The other thing is, what is the answer? The answer is individual risk assessment. And there are two risk assessment scores now, the IMPROVE score and the Caprini score that have both shown to be able to document both the incidence of DVT depending upon the score, as well as the fatality rate depending upon your score. So I hope you all will watch the full video. And remember, if you know your Caprini score, you could save a life. Thank you very much. And the video will start uh, be next. Thank you very much. <laughs> 